I was born January 3rd, 1961. I lived my whole life in Cleveland. I used to watch the fishing shows on television and I was drawing, I, I'm an artist, so I was sketching something out. And I said, Dad, if bass eat bluegills, why doesn't someone just make a lure that looks like a bluegill? And I said, like this, and I showed him this picture. And he, he looked at me and he was so pissed, he's like, Dude, if you would just study like that in school, you'd be a straight A student. And I said, but I don't like school, I like fishing. Hey, are we doing first fish five bucks, biggest five bucks? Because you're gonna owe me 10 bucks. <laughs> Kiss my ass, dude. <laughs> I didn't even know there was such a thing as bass tournaments. When I found this out, I ran to my father and I said, Dad, I could, I could be a professional bass fisherman. He looked at me, he goes, you're, you're going to school and you're getting a job and you're gonna work your way up and someday own the company. What are you talking about fishing for a living? You can't make money fishing. Once we know where we get bent, then we'll know where to keep the boat the rest of the day. Makes sense to me. I found local tournaments. You see them all suspended? Yeah. Five to seven feet. For the most part, I was a money donor like half the other people. So what, did you want to bet something? I mean, I'm always open to bet. I spend my time at Ohio State in product design and marketing. Feel the love, baby. Came home, got a job in an advertising agency, and bought a bass boat. There he is. You got him? Oh, he's a heavy one. Uh-oh. Citrus magic. Citrus. I started fishing all these local tournaments, and I started doing good. It's probably a dang catfish. Come on, don't be. <laughs> You're on your own, sorry. Yeah. Dude. Outstanding. In 2002, my father passed away. I'll never forget it. We were cleaning out my dad's stuff, and as much as he ragged on me about fishing, I opened up a, oh man, this is gonna kill me. I opened up a file cabinet drawer, and every article I was ever in was in it. Every fishing illustration I ever gave him was in it. I mean, he had all of it. I was at his funeral and I looked at my wife and I said, you know what? I said, he wanted to do a million things in his life and he was always waiting for the right time and it never came. And I'm not gonna be that. I'm gonna be a bass pro. So she said, go for it. So I did. And I fished full time for 11 years on the pro circuit and traveled a ton. I won Angler of the Year in the Northerns I made another classic. I won the points by the, one of the largest margins in Bassmaster history at that point in time. I mean, I came home and my kids looked different. So I was really not there. I mean, I want to pretend I was and say I'm super dad, but I, I really wasn't there. But I'm very fortunate because I have four kids and they all love fishing. There he is. Is it good? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah. <laughs> good morning, that him. Good morning. All right, dude. Maybe I'm going back to the other one. <laughs> when I was teaching my oldest son, Frankie, how to structure fish, we start working down this river channel ledge, and he goes, Dad, I got one. He's like, oh man, I think it's a big catfish. I said, dude, if that's a bass, it's a giant. We get it to the side of the boat and we got the fish in and it was an eight pound Ohio largemouth. Frankie caught a ton of them that day. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to be bigger than he is. Oh, I almost caught him in the air. <laughs> I wasn't even ready for that at all. When you're fishing with somebody that you care about and they get it and they catch them, there's nothing better than that. And now I'm so fortunate to be with Bomber Lures doing exactly what I love to do. I'm fishing all the time, I'm designing baits all the time, and I don't have to travel 238 days a year. Got them? Yeah, I got them. And I'm around people that love the same stuff that I love. That's on mimosa, dude. Kiss my. I could tell you of my 100 fish days on Lake Erie, but it doesn't mean anything. When you take somebody who has never experienced that before, and I'm not saying you put them on the fish and let them catch them. I'm saying they figure it out. When you know in your head that they got it figured out, that's the best fishing experience in the world.